only using the upgraded trash can for money. <sighs> okay, YouTube, it's time. Today we're doing another challenge run. Woo! The objective of the run is to complete Joja Mart as fast as possible, but there's a catch. Only using the upgraded trash can for money. And there are some limitations and rules and guidelines we have to adhere to. Here are the rules. I changed it so we have a two hour IRL time limit to do this. This basically just says we need to fix the, the Joja Community Center. And the only way we can get gold, with one exception, is by the upgraded trash can. And that's the next step. The next step says we can only use the shipping bin and other methods to get money initially. So we'll do that and then we'll get our trash can and then we can never sell again in the game. We can only get money by using our trash can. And then we are not allowed to winter or clay farm because that would be too easy. I'm not allowed to use crystallariums. We can't do iridium bar strats either except for upgrading the can if we want to. And that is going to be it for the main rule set however i want to include chat as much as i possibly can so i asked their opinion if we can do anything extra chat demands that we get a trash can hat i don't know how possible th this is but we'll do it and there's also another rule that i have named trash panda which is every time we go into an area with a trash can we have to we have to open it up and then down here we have our horribly low values I didn't realize they were this bad. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. That's going to be the run. Three, two, one. I Sorry, my auto split's not set up for this. All right, standard opener, okay? It's been a while. My AC is not on. <laughs> Yeah, this is easy. I got this. Okay, we're gonna do mass farming. Okay, agriculturalist. We're gonna go to our roots, and I do not want to go to the right until I have to. Oh, please tell me it's good luck. Fantastic. I'm really glad that it's phenomenally bad. All right, so we lost massive time for getting really horrible luck two days in a row. Nice, huge. Please tell me today is a good day. Please, please. Why? <laughs> I need one day of good luck, please. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, four corners be better. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. What? How? It's a 40% chance to get something good. This is insane. <laughs> what the hell? Thank God. Why did it take that long? I got it. I slept so much that there's another parsnip. Are you kidding me? So let me try and put my, my thought processes on paper here. We can't buy anything early on. We need to buy the can upgrade and you only make 15% of the value that you throw away or whatever. So mining for copper and iron seems to be the best way to go because both of them are really expensive if you buy them in bulk, right? We don't really care about our mining level. We just want to get as many copper iron nodes as possible. Who is he talking? I'm talking to you guys. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm showing my thought process to you dudes. These floors are atrocious. Dude, I want to hit that reset button so bad. This is horrible. What a horrible display of skill. Let's think about this. 580. Uh, I lost count already. Wait, 240. So I just need six. Six is all I need, right? 300? Dude, my math is so wrong. I can, I can sell two more, right? I think I can sell two more. <clears throat> Wait, a hundred? Those are worth 50 each? I thought there were more. Oh, well, that makes it way easier. Nice. A thousand on the dot. Pog. Nice. I can math sometimes. Instead of buying seeds, I'm just going to cut these fiber nodes for the seeds because otherwise it would be far too expensive. Also, we are not getting any fiber or not fiber, sorry, mixed seeds. We're cutting fiber for the mixed seeds. Okay, it seems my idea is backfiring horrendously. I thought you could get a ton of mixed seeds here. It doesn't seem like that's the case at all. I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna check the trash cans because I have to. I'm legally obligated to, okay? If I get a trash hat, that would be exemplary. Oh my god! 
There's two more trash cans. Is there any more trash cans, guys, or no? Should be ready in a couple of days. Okay, cool. We're on the board, guys. We're on the board. Are you allowed to do a couple of the CC bundles, or I do JoJo entirely? Uh, I'm trying to make this as hard as possible, so I'm not going to do any of them. Because, well... Oh, you know what? Let's do it, dude. Let's do the extra... Let's do the extra bundle. You're right. Let's do it. Let's go. This could be huge. Because if we get that other sprinkler, that'd be massive, right? Only Joja. Just kidding. I'm going to go break some of these things for fiber. Let's go. This is definitely what I was intending to do. I don't really have anything else to do, so we're going to sleep for two days. And then I guess we just cut trees and stuff. Because I have those two. That's good. I need more of that, which is fine. I need iron really badly, and I need to do quartz, right? That's the move. How many tries till he gets a two-hour PB? First try. I don't need any other tries other than the one, dude. What's the strat once you get copper can? Get iron can. <laughs> once I'm done with iron can, I get gold can. <laughs> and then after gold can, this might shock you. I don't think I go for Iridium. Iridium costs a lot, right? Oh my god, that's huge. Massive, dude. Garbage can strats coming out. You guys see that? We're on the board, baby. All right. We have nine gold. <laughs> you know what's sad is that all of those items got me nine gold. This, these two would give me 200. I'm not allowed to do anything there. Also, chat, can you tell me how much I have to have money-wise for the iron upgrade? 2,500 for gold! <laughs> I'm in danger! We are so f <laughs> I have 20 copper to my name and 19 coal. This is, uh, this is a run. I want to reset so bad. I don't think I'm going to have time to do what I want. I should have done three hours like we, we had planned initially. Three hours I feel like would have been pretty doable. This is like hard mode. Chat, can I reset? This sucks. <laughs> okay, I'll reset. Okay, so it turns out I may have dropped the ball a little bit on the, the map choice here. So we're going to try this again on take two. I'm going to do forest this time. We just need to have a good mines again and we'll be fine. I'm in the middle of a speed run. Thank God. The idea of the run was simple. Jars and sprinklers. If we were to get our farm up and running with jars and sprinklers, we can make an absurd amount of money in such a short time. The only problem was getting there. The plan starts with the right farm type. On the first run, I picked the default farm because I thought the space would be better, but there was a giant lack of mixed seeds. In the second run, I chose the superior forest farm. The forest farm has special fiber nodes that will drop mixed seeds, which we'll use for free crops and farming experience. That way we don't have to waste time buying from Pierre and checking the in-town cans. The next step was to go to the mines. This just covers all the resources we'll need for jars, furnaces, and sprinklers. The gems and geodes were vitally important because they would basically end up carrying the run financially until we get our farm going. And I think we also sold geodes to get the initial 1000 investment for our copper can. And that's when the fun begins. And chill. And then after that is Clint. Love Clint. Back to the beating up the NPCs. I'm pretty sure if I had to like get into an altercation, I was raised to never like, you know, s sprawl or fight anybody, but I think I could probably, you know, beat up George. George would run me over. You're assuming in a fight, I would sit there and let him run me over? No. <laughs> I'd peepo punch the f out of him. <laughs> so how do I get money if I can't do clay farming and if I can't do uh, winter farming? I need more stuff. I need like 15 sprinklers and I just need to s just to sleep. I think that's the plan. So 2,500 gold for this and then we're cooking, I think, right? At this point in the run, I realized that the 15% copper can's rate of return is terrible. That's when it hit me. This is probably going to take a lot longer than two hours. But we carried on and kept collecting resources, gems, and going down in the mines for our target floor of 80. Since we really can't buy anything, the plan at this point was to prepare for the golden trash can and making sprinklers. You've got to be sh me. 
every run I do has this fairy in it. Every run. This is uncanny. Every time, man. Thanks. The fairy is supposedly a rare event in Stardew Valley. Something like a 1% chance to spawn if you have crops or dead crops planted. However, I seem to have the magic touch because this rare event happens every time I play the game. I wish I was joking, but just today in my speedruns, I got three fairies in one singular community center speedrun. I guess the saying fairies love them and fish fear them is true. Eventually, I reached level five mining. Uh, what do I do here? Geologist, I think, is the move. Have you ever had a light bulb moment? Like when something just clicks and you just understand something? That's what it felt like when the mining level 5 skills popped up. After a bit of dial up noise, it was clear to me at this point the geologist perk was key to this run. Since I was relying on gems so heavily, this just makes perfect sense to take. With this perk, we lucked out a few times and got some pretty clutch double diamonds and some other gems to help our way to the golden trash can. The progress was a lot faster than the copper can, but it still felt pretty slow. We're doing it. We got the iron can. Now we're going to go back and do some gold. 30 more minutes. Hey, don't worry about the clock, all right? We're going to have to maybe dip our toes in overtime a little bit, okay? Oh, let's go. All right, an hour 34 minutes into the run, I've made 3,517 gold. That's pretty good. Not bad, dude. The massive handicap that we have, that's solid. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? That's a lot of money I just saved. Huge. With the golden trash can in our possession, we can finally start the jarring empire I envisioned from so long ago. With the resources from the mines and cutting trees along the way, we were capable of creating jars for our crops. Because we no longer needed to go to the mines, it was smooth sailing. All we had to do was buy crops, plant crops, jar, harvest, sleep, and repeat. Everything was finally coming together. We'll do this, and we'll do this. Probably should have bought a coal there. Oops, that's fine. I skipped the majority of winter jarring crops and waited until I had plenty of jarred crops to can. Another reason is that you can't plant any crops during winter that can be jarred for mass money, so it's easy just to sleep and jar until spring. Plus, any time I enter town, I would have to check the cans, and that would be time loss. Alright, let's do it. Have party. Have party. Nice! We saved six minutes from an hour split. Let's see how much money we made. We made 22 hondo! That's pretty good! I don't remember which one you buy. I think it's Kali. That's the best. Oh, 28? Dude, that's so much. Are you kidding? That's massive. Oh my God, that money is nasty. Oh, we are cooking with fire. Huge. Check it. You guys ready? This is going to be massive. Boom. And look at that, dude. All that money is back. What's the progress on Trash Hat? None. I don't have Trash Hat. What do you mean this is the first stream in a while you're actively watching? What do you... What do you... <laughs> what is that smadging Pepe emo where he looks mad and sad at the same time? I have a question. That's... Split should be red. Why is it not red? If everybody prays in chat, I'll tell you why it's not red. Chat, the conditions of us getting the, the trash can hat... It might not, it might not work. We, we might not, it like, we might not be able to get it, is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. Uh... Hold on, hold on, this is Hold on! Only using the upgraded trash can for money. So that was a fucking lie. At this point in the run, it's been three hours and some change. Fatigue is starting to set in, and muscle memory is starting to take over. This is when I cheated. I'm so used to selling pickles to Pierre for speedruns that I went straight into autopilot and just clicked without any thought. This instantly broke the rules of the challenge, and at this point the run was invalid. However, I didn't catch my mistake nor did anyone else, so I just kept farming and jarring. 
I ended up getting the Iridium trash can even when I said I wasn't going to because at this point in the run it's been 4 hours and I had no desire to check for a garbage hat that could potentially take more hours to get. Oh baby, let's go. He played TFT and lost 2 rounds. Nice. Alright, I still think we need a little bit more though. Oh, I have them all. Oh, we're done. Oh, huge. Nice. Oh, thank cool. Yay, we're done. I was so out of it by the time I was officially done with the run that I didn't even realize that I actually finished it. Such a relief. All right, let's go get the sodi pop and then we call time. Can I skip this or do I have to watch this? Oh, you can't skip it anyway. You were here! Whoa, we did it! A run that I thought would take two hours took four and a half. And there you have it. There's Jojican Percent. All done, neatly wrapped up, and tied with a pretty little bow. It took us four and a half hours as opposed to the two hours I thought it would because the copper trash can only gave like 15% instead of the 30 I thought initially. I guess that's the iron, oh sorry, excuse me, the steel garbage can. That it was a hell of a lot harder than I thought it would be. We had to do some on the fly strats. We utilized gemology for the early game money and we, had to, we got really lucky with some diamonds and then that propelled us. And as soon as we got the steel can, we kind of rolled and rocked and we just, we didn't look back. And then, uh, you know, Chad demanded I got the Iridium garbage can. So I had to go to the bottom of Mines 20 for that. And that took a while. But aside from that, you know, not too bad. Pretty good. It was a fun run. If I had to do this run better, because I could easily sub three hour, the thing I would correct is immediately just going into the mines for early gems. And I would probably try to snowball and get to gem gemologist as fast as possible in the future. Mix seeds was the strat that we want to utilize because spending money on seeds to get 15% of that gain back was a loss and we didn't have any money anyway. So mixed seeds was the idea. Initially, we scale for mixed seeds into steel garbage can and then we use the garbage can to buy seeds in the future. I think Granberries was our first big buy. Berries was done intentionally so we can have multiple cycles during the, the seasons. And then we start to scale because we were able to make jars and then we jar those and then we jar more stuff. We go to red cabbage in the future, cauliflower, pumpkins. And then, yeah, that led us to where we're at now. So, cool. We did it. Yay. I don't know what to do with my hands. We did it. I'm looking for, I'm not doing this again. Feel free to subscribe. There we go. We're good. Cut it. We're done.